The past couple of months, I've probably looked at every prefab welding table you can purchase. Between the shipping freight, the cost, and the super thin material, it was not worth it. This week's project is going to be fabbing our own welding table. This will be made out of angle iron. It will be on casters. It will be fully movable. As usual, at the end of the video, I will share all the materials, the cost, and break down everything for you guys. Now, we have a lot of fab work to do, so let's get started. All right guys, it's the next day. I'm not checking so much to make sure that the table is level. I know it's not gonna be perfect because the slab is not perfect, but I was making sure we didn't get any bins or bowling or cupping in the actual table. And it looks like we're pretty good. So basic angle iron is what I used. I had some of that available. So I used quarter inch. I think it's three and a half by five and a half inch angle, quarter inch thick. And the table top is three sixteenths uh, thick. And it's been a while since I've done some heavy MIG welding, so not too bad. Getting warmed up. We do have our legs right there. They're going to be angle as well. Same material, just different length. We have to get those cleaned up. And then we are going to do a simple corner weld on the exterior of the box frame right there. We got to clean some of these edges up because that angle on the inside corner is kind of round and I want it to sit really flush on there. I'll say we're about halfway done. Without wasting any more time, let's get these legs uh, ground clean from the rust, from that acid, and then we will start knocking this thing out. Oh, also I noticed this when I was getting it cleaned up and welded, but the inside of this angle actually has USA stamped in it. So it's pretty neat. USA welding table. Yeah, baby. The motorcycle lift that we're building this tabletop on now is not completely level. So I'm just wedging the tabletop out from the underside of it getting it as close to perfect as possible. Then when we set the legs going vertical, we can level those as well, and that will ensure 
when we flip it, it will be pretty close. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, time for our legs. Day three of the table fab, I'm pretty excited and pumped with how it came out. It took me about a full day to finally get the settings dialed in on the MIG welder. Been about two years since I've done a lot of heavy MIG welding, but we got them zipping out pretty smooth yesterday. Uh, today's goal is gonna be to finish this thing off, get it on the ground, get it flipped over, make sure it's level, and then start working on the caster mounts and the legs. I do have this bracket. It's just a random uh, foot peg bracket from a motorcycle, I think like a weld on one. It's uh, almost a quarter inch thick, if not bigger. So I'm gonna weld this on the bottom right here. And this will give us a nice lifting point for our lifting strap on the tractor. That way we don't have to pick it up because it's probably about 400 pounds. So I'm gonna weld this on and then it will be done on this table. We'll pull it off with the tractor, get it on the ground, check it for level and start working on the legs. All right, new plan. I set it back down on a two by four. That gave me a gap and then I hooked my, uh, my lift hook on the outer edge of the table and then hopefully when I lift it now, it'll be able to pivot up on its feet. She's happy, boys. Um, it's on its feet, standing up vertical. Now I'm gonna get the straight edge, a couple levels, keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully it is close. It is pretty dang close. I am completely satisfied with that. It has a couple warps and bows on the really hot spots where I welded it on that angle, that thick angle, but it is very, very minimum. It is a good, straight, flat table. And then you can feel a little bit of humps where the welds are, but I really think I'll be able to grind that out if need be. But yeah, man, it came out nice. All right. All right, let's get going and finish this thing up. Now we got to flip it back over, get my metal cut for the casters and then mount these casters on there. So hopefully this lifting hook will come into place now and I can slowly lift it back up and it will flip over. I'm not entirely sure that was the best way to do that, but I'm not lifting this table by myself. As you, as you guys saw, that didn't work out exactly to plan, but we got it back on the top. Now let's get the casters on.
Caster mounts are complete. I tried to mirror the levels from the floor. That way, you know, this won't be all tweaked out once we flip it up. And then I did the 3 8 mounts right here and we can always add washers if it does need to be leveled in its location. So let's get these casters bolted on and then let's flip this bad boy back up. All right guys, she's done. Casters are bolted on. Bring the tractor back in here. Let's get this girl flipped over. I am ready to get the shop clean and move on from this project. It has been a long three days. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's awesome. Now to the board for the cost breakdown, we spent $170 on the top and that was a 28 inch wide by 72 inch long, 3 16 thick mild steel. That was specially ordered from our local metal fab shop and it came out, like I said, to 170. The angle iron that I used was a 20 foot stick I bought used off of Facebook and it was one quarter inch thick by four and a half by five and a half long as on, on an angle. Luckily we found that for $50, that was a super good deal. So once I got that, I simply took it to the shop or the fab shop where I had the top made and they actually cut everything up for me on this angle and that made it way easier because that quarter inch thick stuff can get pretty tough to cut. Now for the casters, I got those from Amazon. Those were 500 pound casters each. So you can put a total of 2000 pounds on there. They are not locking. I did get those for $80. I'll put that link in the description below. There are several options for the casters, depending on what you're wanting to do. I chose to do four swivels. So that means each caster swivels on e on each corner and it does not lock. And that way I can move the table, spin it around in a circle, pull it out, put it in the home where it's going to go permanently on the wall. And then if I need to move it out, it will be super simple. The table came out great with the level. Everything came out exactly how I wanted. I just, I love it. It really came out great. There are a couple waves in it from the heat from, from where I welded the angle iron on the bottom, but that's kind of to be expected. If you're really worried about a super true surface, I highly recommend going with a quarter inch top versus the 3 16 Now, as always, the cost breakdown, the total came to $300 on this table. Some of you guys might say, well, I don't have a MIG welder and all that stuff. I didn't either 15 years ago. I wanted to try doing this and that's what I did. And one thing that I have learned, if you never try, you will fail 100% of the time. Everything takes effort and you will never learn anything if you never try. So now it's time to get this table put in position and clean up my shop because it is a mess now and I am exhausted. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. As always, we will see you next week for another project. Love you guys. Appreciate it.